Hello and welcome to Deal of the Week. It's a bit of a Halloween special this week because Ghostmaster is on sale on Steam for the whole week. Uh, I think until Friday or, or maybe till Sunday. I'll put the date in the description anyway. But yeah, it is 74 pence here. I'm not sure what that is in dollars. It's probably about a dollar, which is ridiculously cheap. And uh, it's a. I think it's a bit of a cult classic, this one. Basically, you control a bunch of ghosts and you try to um, follow objectives like scaring people out of the house or driving people insane. And, you know, you do it by attaching ghosts to things and getting them to haunt it. So, I've already played this quite a lot here. I've got a save game to go through. As you can see, it does not have widescreen resolution options. There may be a solution to that. But um, let's take a look at this level here. No, can I not do that one yet? I guess not. And yeah, it's got some really great music and a really good voiceover. It that sinister events transpire around a certain family house in a certain suburb of Gravenville. Your previous success brought to light the grisly antics of an unhinged old lady. But the grim history of this house stretches further into the past. It seems that the house was built on the site of an ancient chicken burial ground. <laughs> the pit for the Calamityville Poultry Slaughterhouse. So many turkeys and chickens were slain and thrown into the earth. Their troubled essences await retribution. The troubled mind of one Carol Ann Hutz, a child who has already witnessed your terrible powers once, has become home for hard-boiled. A gestalt of the headless necks and ruffled feathers of the departed. Aid this poltergeist in emptying the house of the taint of rational human presence, and you will acquire a valuable new ally. And so, yeah, we can see uh, why it doesn't have a widescreen option. It is uh, a fairly old game, and the graphics are pretty dated, but the gameplay speaks for itself. So here we can see our sort of roster selection. Um, these are the ghosts that I currently have unlocked. And they all have various different abilities based around the elements. And um, you can click recommended and it will give you a team which is suited for the current scenario. So I'm just going to go with that Play at the moment. Lay the poltergeist spirit to rest. Empty the house of all sane mortals. Right, so my objective here is basically to scare everyone away, I guess. That's certainly what it sounded like. <laughs> Let me just remember the camera controls. Alright, we're using the arrow keys and the mouse. That's fine. Yeah, arrow keys. Those days when everything used them. So if we look at Whirlwind, it's better, as in the thing you can better it to is child, so we can bind that to this child. Well, we should be able to anyway, but... Uh, I guess the... I guess she's already got something fettered to her. Well, this one can attach to electrical things. So we got an electric oven there, or it might be the light, I'm not... Uh, I think it's the oven, isn't it? And that will stick him there. And anybody who walks into this room will be affected by his powers. So what we have here is plasm, and we collect that by scaring people. So we'll uh, set him to make everything go wild and crazy, and we can see the effects straight away. Um, and yeah, they, they've got uh, three things here. They've got terror, madness, and belief. The higher the belief is, the higher the other two menus or uh, slider things will go up. Um, and yeah, sometimes you have to drive people crazy, sometimes you have to just scare them off. Um, and yeah, you get some peculiar ones like you can fetter them to violence. And you think, well, you know, what objects are there? 
that have uh, violence. Um, well, it's saying this piano here, actually, I suppose. Uh, if you are feeling violent, you might use the uh, piano to blow off some steam, I guess. I know I do on my guitar sometimes. Oh, this guy's got a bit of a gun. So, what can he do? He's obviously a dead mafia guy by the looks of things. And so, yeah, I can't use his more powerful ones currently, but... I can set him to Ice Breath, and he'll blow a nice cold breeze on anybody who comes through the room. And yeah, it's just a really novel concept, this game, and the... You know, it was quite ahead of its time. I think it came out around about the same time as The Sims, maybe? Something like that. And, uh, yeah, that guy just flashed red, so got a bit spooked out by something. And yeah, I just love it, you know, you just... Um, like, each round will take not very long, maybe half an hour or something, and you can just kind of pick it up and uh, play one of the scenarios, scare a bunch of people. And yeah, if you've got nothing better to do on Halloween, I know I don't, don't have any kids, so, you know, it's nothing to do on Halloween, really. Could go to a fancy dress party, but yeah, people in my town are boring, to be honest, don't even get any trick-or-treaters, so, you know, if you're bored of uh, horror films, you can just play this instead. <laughs> there you go. And, uh, oh, lovely clatter claws. So, what can you do? Swarm strike, hide and seek. So, I'm not quite sure what that does. It does give you a, a description when you uh, click on them. The Haunter surprises the mortal a handful of times. Ah, I see. Flower power? What is that? I'm not sure. So, I mean, you can also set up orders. So, you can set them to only haunt a certain person and stuff like that, which is quite useful. But, um, yeah, I don't have enough plasm to bind anybody by it by the looks of things, which is not good, so I wonder why I can't fetter this to the child. So yeah, I think I'm supposed to free this ghost here as well. I think we, I think if we click on it, it might give us a little bit of information. Hello sir, or madam, or well, whatever you are. Can I interest you in our range of facial care products? Our hydrating night silk works in conjunction with our non-foaming, revitalizing face wash and our botanical moisture splash. May I spritz you with our fragrance? If we could just arrange to demonstrate our products on one of the ladies of the house, I'm sure we can reach some amicable arrangement regarding the purchase of our fine range of perfumery and cosmetic enhancement solutions. And yeah, it's got some really good voice acting in it, actually. I mean, there's her body there. So, um, yeah, by somebody actually discovering that corpse, it will free this ghost, I think. So, I, what I think you need to do is basically fetter a ghost to this uh, and get them to do something which is going to attract it attention. So, you know, Ice Breath isn't really going to do anything there, but... Um, you know, like, if sometimes uh, they're in the same room as, like, the electricity generator or something, and you can make that go on the fritz so that they come and investigate and stuff. It's, you know, it's pretty cool. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get somebody up here. Maybe if I bound somebody to the chimney or something? Mm, I'm not sure. See, so yeah, it's not always very obvious. And look, we got another guy up here as well. So, violence and emotional. Yeah, you can see this guy has been stuffed down in the chimney there. <laughs> but uh, let's hear what he has to say. So, I'm up on this roof, fixing the shoddy coax antenna. Thinking a coat hanger would do better. When I start feeling queasy, I'm thinking maybe the little old lady used non-dairy creamer in the tea. When my gut explodes! I made a grab for the chimney, but I guess I lunged too far, because now I'm stuck in it. Give me a hand, would you? 
So yeah, this guy, I was not entirely convinced that he's actually dead there, so that's a bit sad for him. But there's another one here, these are the three that we can release. It looks like a bunch of leaves, I don't know. It's a bit, um, it's a bit strange. Uh, oh well, anyway, let's, um, let's try Whirlweird. Better child. So how do I? Where's that child? I need to haunt you. And yeah, you can also um, watch things in first-person view from the view of the people you're haunting. It's uh, it's a little bit sickening, actually. <laughs> the camera is uh, just a little uh, fast, I guess. It just kind of swings around wildly. But anyway, what have we got down in the basement? Where's this guy going? Um, da -da -da -da. What's that? So, washing machine. Electrical. Let's just bind cog jammer down here. Give him a bit of a spook. Yeah. So he's walked past already. Pain in the ass. Uh, and this one we can bind to a through fair. As in a corridor, so we can mind her there. Let's get her to... Right, this is one you can set her to have a siren song, which will draw people to the area. So if you really want people to go near something, then you can use that. But obviously you can only put her in a corridor, so... So yeah, that one's a bit wasted down here, I think, so I'm gonna bind her up here instead. And, uh, this one is... This one is one that you usually take. It's just a sort of generic ghost. They're very useful on every scenario, I think. You just bound them, uh, bind them inside to any room, indoors, and they're pretty effective. They don't uh, they don't use a lot of plasm for their frighteningness, but um, but yeah, it's quite good. Um, and yeah, that is basically it to show you what this game's about. Um, I really want to be able to scare somebody off, but we're being a little tough. These guys. I don't know. Have we got anybody? So I'm not really concentrating. What you want to do is follow people around and just, you know, bind the ghosts to wherever they go. So we just gave her a good shock there. But, um... Yeah, it tells you what their fears are as well sometimes. So if you get one that's scared of spiders, for example, I think that would probably be very effective. So yeah, we can see this guy going into this room now, so... If we bind a ghost to the room, uh, get it to rattle chains. There we go. That's uh, you know he's not even bothered by that, is he? <laughs> well, he's got a fair amount of belief. I don't know. He didn't seem to be. Oh, well, that's not scary though, is it? That's quite cute. Making lots of flowers appear. Yeah, I suppose flowers appearing out of nowhere is um, pretty, <laughs> pretty scary. But come on, get scared. Well, yeah, I mean sometimes it does get a bit frustrating when you, because I mean you have no control over these people, so you know you're just kind of waiting for them to walk into the right room and get scared at the right time. But, yeah, it's just fun. It's fun to make them scared, and there's no pressure. Like, you can take as long as you want on these. So, um, that one's looking sufficiently terrified there. Just running around, having a bit of a panic. <laughs> so, yeah, this is Ghostmaster. It is 74 pence, or whatever that is, in dollars or euros until the end of the week. Yeah, these Steam Weekly sales are uh, pretty cool actually. 
So, um, you know, I haven't really got anything to lose there, so you might as well try it out for Halloween. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.